what we think. Where else would you get to enjoy lovely views like this on a daily basis? The scenery here is amazing and there's so much countryside to enjoy. Our favourite things are the parks and the woodlands. They're great for cycling, horse riding, walking your dog, playing with your friends and creating dens, and having lots of fun. And there's also loads of really cool wildlife to watch and take pictures of. And you definitely don't get them in the city. We love how calm and peaceful it is here. It makes you feel really relaxed. And there's a real sense of community which makes you feel really safe and happy. It's just a great place to be. And we wouldn't want to live anywhere else. But as much as we love living here, there is definitely room for improvement. Things that we think should be changed to make rural Renfrewshire more fun and an even better place to live. Even though we come from different parts of rural Renfrewshire, we all came up with the same answers when asked what was the worst thing about living here. The thing that topped our list was all the litter that makes rural Renfrewshire look really messy and spoils all the amazing views. Everywhere you go you just see litter and it makes us really angry when we see people throwing crisp packets and empty sweetie wrappers on the ground when there's a bin just up the road. And when people use the woodlands and rivers to dump rubbish in. And when they let their dogs poo all over the grass and don't bother to pick it up. These people really know how to spoil a good photo. And ruin an amazing view. And turn a stunning walk into a smelly one. Some people just don't care, so we were hoping we could raise awareness and get them caring again. By adding more bins and putting up signs to show them where their garbage should go. We can maybe even introduce a dog park to, to reduce the amount of poo. Or arrange a big community clean-up to get to rural Renfrewshire clean again. And hopefully a good way of getting rid of all that broken glass and graffiti too. It would be so nice to be able to walk to the park or the shops without having to dodge the smoking teenagers and the latest piles of broken glass. We're pretty sure that they don't enjoy spending every day at the same places writing the same graffiti on the walls. We figure that they're just bored and they've got nothing else to do. And we know how they feel. As much as we love the peace and tranquility of rural Renfrewshire, it can get a bit boring from time to time. Most of the parks are really babyish and now we're getting too old and big for them. Even though there is something cool to do, like the glens and the playing fields, they are usually overcrowded. Or in desperate need of a makeover. It would be amazing if there were much more things for people our age to do and for teenagers. Like bigger parks with zip wires and rope swings. And more clubs and activities. Like a book club. An arts and crafts club. A photography club. A film club. And maybe even a travelling cinema. Or a mobile library. And mobile shops to give us more variety. Sometimes we feel a bit left out, because all the cool stuff's in Paisley and Glasgow. We wish they'd come to us once in a while. Or if the people organising them could arrange buses to help us get there and back. And not have to rely on Mum and Dad's taxis. Our parents would love this, and so would we. It would make life here more fun. And help us make new friends from other areas. At the moment, we can't really go anywhere without our Mum and Dad. Even though we all have bikes and want to cycle everywhere. We're not allowed because there's not enough cycle routes and cycle laybys. It's not safe enough for us. We can't even cycle to school. Or go and see our friends in the other towns and villages. So we have to rely on our mums and dads for lifts. We start counting down the days until we pass our driving tests. I've got six years left. Transport is a big issue when you're growing up in rural Renfrewshire. And it turns out it's a big issue that affects everyone in Renfrewshire. What would you say is the worst thing about living in rural Renfrewshire? The lack of public transport, of affordable and frequent public transport. Probably as my children are more independent, I think transport, getting out of the village, getting to the railway station and getting into Glasgow would benefit them. So I'm not a taxi driver at all times. I think possibly the transport isn't as good as it should be and quite often if we want to go up into Glasgow at night time, the buses are difficult, so we end up taking the car. So what would you like want to improve on? Um, probably better bus service in the evening. Maybe even a train station in the, one of the villages would be quite good. Um, 
Yeah, because, you know, people going back and forth with cars. I know with myself, I would leave my car at home if, if the, the bus service was better. Just like us, everyone who he spoke to loves living in rural Renfrewshire and wouldn't want to live anywhere else. And if you had a magic wand, what would you like to change? What would I like to change? The... There isn't actually much I would like to change about rural Renfrewshire, to be honest. <laughs> What do you think the best thing is about rural Renfrewshire and why? I think the best thing about rural Renfrewshire is the wonderful countryside that's just right on your doorstep. In fact, driving up here this morning, the road was just lined by daffodils. It was fantastic. Well, it's the amount of countryside we have. It's, uh, it's vast. Uh, it's great. Uh, we've got dogs. So we like to do a lot of walking, a lot of dog walking. Uh, lights and I was up yesterday, I was up in the countryside. So it's, it's nice to get away, especially in the world's nice. The best thing about living in rural Renfrewshire is probably the countryside because it's got a lot of open space and everything. It's the beautiful scenery, the lovely walks that you can go on, the rivers, etc. Well, the scenery is beautiful uh, and there's quite a lot of uh, woodland uh, which provides recreational. Uh, facilities for everyone. Sometimes I um, play with my brothers in the woods and play um, and I go up to my um, friend's house and invite them down to play with me in the woods and just a lot of fun stuff. Even though we interviewed people of all different ages, all their ideas of what, who and where the leader money sh um, should be spent on we're very similar. I think in rural areas, maybe more things for the children. When my children were young, I tended to take them to um, Brownies, Guides, other activities in Linwood or Johnston. Um, and it's maybe things they can do that they can get to on their own. There's not enough like um, football pitches or tennis courts or like any of that stuff. There's some park facilities and that's for younger children, but I think the older children can get quite bored and there's no like outdoor basketball court or like skate park, something like that would be really good. Climbing walls, zip wires, things like that for the older children to stop them getting a bit bored, you know. I think anything that can improve the lives of teenagers here in Houston and Bridgewell and the other areas. So more parks, um, um, more initiatives for them to do outside of school like sports clubs and um, general youth clubs. More chance for teenagers to meet together. I think if there were more facilities for young people in the, the way of maybe more uh, parks where they could play uh, outdoor sports and possibly a youth club where young people could meet sort of centrally and locally that's not part of an organisation, just a youth club where they can meet to chat and, and pass the time of day. Well, it would be quite nice to have an obstacle course because the parks are all based on smaller children. And um, maybe a theme park or something. As well as introducing more things for people our age to do, everyone we spoke to agreed on the two things that need getting rid of, litter and vandalism. I'd like some of the litter cleared up because um, it kind of ruins the environment and it would make just in a nicer place to live in. When you, you drive around the roads, you see all this mess littering the sides of the streets, so it's very off-putting to see that. Um, I think it'd be good to have like nicer footpaths on like side rivers, stuff like that. Because some of the footpaths are like kind of crooked and people can trip on them. I like to do a lot of walk walking and I would like to make sure that walking areas were free of litter and broken glass. A, we, as I said, we have a, a wonderful woodland here which I would like to see tidied up and more walks put through the woods so that other people can use them. If they know that it's uh, it clean and dry and safe, they will use them. I'd also like to see more structured walks. I think if schools could be involved uh, more in the countryside. Treasure hunts, orienteering, you know, getting out and about, navigating around the place, a bit of a challenge, get you out there. Out the outdoors. Well, if we could find some way of making people appreciate what we've got and actually keeping it as beautiful as it could be. And if you had a magic wand and could wave it, what would you do? 
maybe try and make young people realise that it's their heritage, it's their countryside, and if they're as proud to be Scottish as so many of them claim to be, then take care of it. Before we started making this film, we hadn't appreciated how much we love living in rural Renfrewshire. And we've never even heard of the programme. But now we can't wait to start making our suggestions into a reality. And help raise awareness to ensure that no one here takes what we've got for granted. To make rural Renfrewshire a more fun, safe and happy place to live. And make sure it officially stays the best place to live in Scotland. We are the Great Five Media Team. And these are our dreams for a better rural Renfrewshire.